Dr. Whitney Oakley is a product of the Guilford County Schools. I know her from when she was a little girl at Guilford Primary School. And then I got to know her again. I believe it was when she got a scholarship and I was on the scholarship committee. And then I re-met her since she has become superintendent or just before. And as a parent of children in the school system now, she is aware of the strengths and weaknesses of our present schools. She knows Guilford County, and she has the ability to work well with people. So first of all, I have eight children within our school systems. During the task force for re-entry, I was invited to participate in that as a parent and community representative. I saw firsthand how she is just an extraordinary leader who is passionate about not only our children, but the environment in which that is created in order for them to learn. I have seen firsthand how she has the ability to listen. She not only listens to parents and students and other stakeholders, she also listens to our educators. And we're already seeing some of the positive changes that that can bring. I am a second year teacher in general, and this is my second year here at Guilford County. And oddly enough, I started around the same time Dr. Oakley became the new superintendent. The first time I met Dr. Oakley was at the award ceremony for Teacher of the Year. She was very down to earth, and she was very open about just talking to me about what I'm doing, about my school, etc. At first, I didn't know much about Guilford County Schools, but once I started teaching here, I started to really appreciate everything that they have to offer here. I really appreciate how much they put into the arts. They really, truly appreciated the band directors, the choir directors, the theater people here, everybody. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with Dr. Oakley in various capacities. Um, in each of those roles, she's always been the voice of reason. She has always shown compassion for people, but especially kids. I mean, she has a knack for being able to effectively communicate with everyone so that everyone leaves a room feeling as if they have been heard and knowing that the person that heard them is going to take action to figure out a solution to the problem. I think coming into this role and position at this time when one, we are in a nation that is currently divided on so many different things. This is the time where we need someone to kind of bridge the gap. Addressing some of the mental health pieces that have come as a result of COVID, and also understanding that the learning gaps that have persisted or have grown even larger in the midst of the pandemic have to be at the forefront of what work we do to be able to ensure that students are getting the best instruction every day because they, she knows that makes the difference. She has seen the impact COVID has had on student learning. As the former Chief Academic Officer of Guilford County Schools, she knows how to improve education. I'm very thankful for her because I think she's going to be the best thing that has happened to our school system in a long time.